My name is Jackie Bantel and I'm the manager of the Horticulture Field Research Facility at the University of Saskatchewan. Today I'm going to talk about sun and shade in your vegetable garden. Most vegetable gardens love sunny locations and most vegetables want sun. Um, so people have shady areas in their yard and they think they can't grow any vegetables, but that's not true. There are some crops that will grow in a shady area in the garden. Um, things like the leafy crops, so uh, lettuce, spinach, um, things that require that have larger leaves, any of those like the mescaline mixes, um, things like that, the leafy things. Uh, the herb plants often will grow in a sh more shady area. So things like lovage, basil, mint, mint is great in shady areas. Um, so some of those leafy things that you're harvesting the leaves to eat, those will work in a shady area. So when I'm talking about leafy things, I should, I should explain that. Um, I'm meaning things where you actually eat the leaves mostly. So like I said, spinach, lettuce, mescaline mixes, things like that. Now, of course, in a cabbage plant, you eat the leaves, but brassicas, they love to have a lot of sun. And, they, and so they're not as great in the shady area. You might be able to get some tiny little cabbage heads in your shady area, but don't plan on getting cauliflower or broccoli in the shady area. Um, the other thing is too, you know, if you have a lot of shade, you can plan to grow some vegetables in pots. And so maybe there is a more sunny area of your yard where you can move those vegetables to for say six hours a day possibly, and they get the sun they need and then they go back to the shady area. So you don't have to have 12 or 14 hours of sun, but some sun for most uh, vegetable crops is important. But as I mentioned, shady areas, grow lettuce, herbs, different herbs, spinach, mescaline mixes, and green, leafy greens like that. Um, things that require a lot of sun in the yard, so a lot of those uh, hot season or warm season crops, I should call them. So the warm season crops like tomatoes, peppers, um, cucumbers, cantaloupe, all that kind of stuff, they like to have hot sunny conditions. Um, peas, some people might think, well, what about peas in a shady area? The problem with that is that lots of times if it's a shady area, it also can be a moist area. So then you'll have some disease issues. So there's a myth going around that you can't grow anything under a spruce tree because the soil is too acidic. I'm tired of that myth. What a tall tale. The thing is that the needles that are falling on the ground are not changing the acidity of the soil. It takes way, it would take so many needles to change the acidity of the soil that we'd be buried in needles. It's not that easy to change the pH of a soil. In fact, it's nearly impossible. So it's not the issue of the pH under the, under the tree. It's more an issue of shade and lack of water. And so that tree is sucking up a lot of water and a lot of nutrients, and it's going to be nearly impossible for a plant to grow under there. So again, it's not the pH, it's the water and the soil that's the issue under the pine tree.